Hi, Alan Stratton here from CostMatters.com. Every so often when I was controller, my boss would come back from an MBA class and ask for a break-even analysis. Later, even as a consultant, clients would ask me how to do a break-even analysis. Yes, in my college work, I had also listened to the same presentation. I was thrilled with the simplicity and apparent practicality and power of break-even analysis. But <laughs> the concept is simple. You take out a sheet of graph paper. The y-axis will represent money, both cost and revenue. The x-axis will represent units sold. Draw a horizontal line to represent for fixed costs. Draw a line from the origin, that's zero, zero, that slopes upward to represent variable costs. Now, you draw a line parallel to the variable cost line. Now this represents total costs. Now this one will run from where the fixed cost line intersects the y-axis and be parallel to the variable cost line. Now, just one more step before the amazing revelation. You plot revenue. This line should also run from the origin, that's zero, zero, and slope upward. The amazing revelation occurs where this revenue line crosses the total cost line. Ah, amazing. It is our break-even point, the point where we start making money, start making profits. Yay! After this point, profits really accelerate because fixed costs are covered and life is great. Profits are rolling in the door. But wait, there's more. Well, not really. Reality is a tough taskmaster. Reality is never as simple as the chart my professor drew. The problem is in separating fixed costs from variable cost. Some are easy, most are not. Now, let's take a few examples. Direct material should be variable. If you are a manufacturer, you may be lucky. However, if you have a contract where your material cost varies with volume, material cost is not as variable as otherwise. A take or pay contact contract makes cost much more fixed on the downside. Now, direct labor, you would think, should be variable. However, if you have a labor contract or want your people to stick with you, labor may wind up having a very large fixed cost component. Overhead is where I always began maging, having major problems. What's fixed? What's variable? Now, it turns out that if you really look at it, that all cost is variable and that all cost is fixed. It just depends on the time horizon. The shorter the time horizon, the more fixed the cost. The longer the time horizon, the cost becomes much more variable. In the short run, a building is a fixed cost. However, in the long run, it can be sold. As volume increases, a larger building may be required. Does this make it a fixed cost or a variable cost? Some would answer, the answer is that it is a semi-fixed or semi-variable cost. But even this new cost category does not help our break-even analysis. Now, in the short run, nearly all labor is a fixed cost. However, to the downside, the cost is very sticky. You want to keep your experienced people. With more time and on the upside, more people can be hired, trained, and put to work. Note that there would be a hiring cost, a training cost, and a learning curve before the new people are productive. Now, take a, a oil well. The cost to drill an oil well is considered a fixed cost. However, it varies with a number of parameters, mainly the depth of the well. Over a large number of wells drilled, a graph of cost versus volume actually looks like a variable cost graph even though in the short run it looks like a fixed cost. Now, in practice, except in extremely simple operations, actual implementation of break-even analysis is extremely difficult. In my career, I have done many break-even or fixed variable cost analyses. In nearly every case, the analysis broke down in discussions over assumptions about fixed cost and variable cost and their definitions. In the end, the break-even analysis concept is useful. Discussions about whether a cost is fixed or variable are rarely conclusive, but 
They can be informative and aid in decision making. Actually understanding how a cost behaves is an important management requirement. But forget the pretty graph. It's not as easy as it sounds. Now, do you have great examples of this practical break-even analysis? Please share them below. And remember that cost truly does matter to your business profitability. This is Alan Stratton from CostMatters.com. Thank you.